are pretty excited about this visit yes. where we're going to right now. We are going to Thomas River. It's about a 30 kilometer drive from Stadtrein and we've heard about it a lot. Yes, from some of our viewers yes. who said we must definitely not miss it. So we specially planned to come and see Thomas River. I look forward to it. Yeah. Pine trees. Yes, ma'am. Nice quiet road this. Oh, I love it. Push that little button, it looks like. Okay. Thank heavens. Goodness me. Interesting. Yeah, very. There's a little camera there as well. Yeah. That's fantastic. So they're secure, they can see everybody coming in. I think that's wonderful. Yeah. Would be naughty ones would be deterred by that. Exactly. It's flowing big time. Fantastic. We're in the treetops. Yep. And the dirt road is fantastic. Beautiful. distance on the side of the hill is written Thomas River. It looks 
looks like there's a little church there and you see all the green roofs of the houses and a tractor up front here yeah oh, this place is tiny springbok oh but that's very far away quite a few yeah. Thomas River. How cute that everything has a, a green roof. Yeah. Or most places at least. Reborn 2003. Whatever your mode of travel, this is the place to unravel. Yeah. <laughs> Look here, Thomas River Historical Village. How cool is this? Welcome to Thomas River Historical Village. Here's the railway tracks, the railway names. Oh, there, yeah. okay. Thomas at a field. Yeah. Look at the little fort. Could that be a little fort? Looks like it, eh? I will look up history in a little bit. Cora T. Cora Tips T. <laughs> wow. Thomas River Museum. Eastern Cape Rock Art. Of Eastern Cape. Oh, I missed that. Oh. Nice. I'm going to drive through, but this is a place, a few places we're going to have to stop at, eh? Oh no, we'll have to stop at every place <laughs> that's open. <laughs> yes. I wonder if I shouldn't go here before they close. That is the closest I've come to an art Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I one day. So badly want to see an art park. A real one. So yeah. so badly. People say they drive and they see them, yeah. but they're nocturnal, aren't yes. they? Yes. All right. So, so do you want to share <laughs> why you're as excited as a little child? Ah. Uh, so. Thomas River is not an abandoned little town, as you can see. And fortunately, I'm so happy we never booked accommodation in advance. So we are sleeping in Thomas River tonight. <laughs> and I can take my time and I can walk around here and do whatever I want to. They've got a pub, they've got everything. I'm telling you, it's crazy. <laughs> wow. You were beaming when you came out there. This place is crazy gorgeous look at all these petrol pumps these old pumps thomas river motors <laughs> yeah so we're going to take a drive through so that i can also see some of the stuff and then you're gonna 
get to walking? Yes. All right. Well, I think we've seen a lot of the stuff. Let us um, take a drive through this beautiful road. Yeah, this is the village shop. Look at all the chickens. It's a real little shop inside there. The chickens are going to shop. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to go buy eggs. <laughs> <laughs> what a peaceful existence they must have. Oh, man. I almost thought that water. was an old airstream. It's flowing to the river. Yes. But it's flowing strong, man. Eh? Yeah, it is. Sheep. Sheep. This triggers paintball. Oh, okay. here we are. I wonder if they sometimes hit a sheep by accident. No, I don't think the sheep will be there when they're doing paintball. No, I was looking for sheep with blotches of red or orange. <laughs> no. Shame, that won't be nice. They'll get ruined. They've got a big thing on this coming weekend. Okay. A mountain bike race, yeah, at Thomas River. So it's crazy. Now this is exactly our type of vibe. Yeah. So I did want to get a little stressed about accommodation, but we told each other, no, we won't. We will sleep wherever we get to. And look what has happened. Yeah, but I never <laughs> thought it would be here. At Thomas River. Catering unit, St station, station master. <laughs> oh, nice. Station foreman. Wow. You are the station foreman this evening. Yes. This is our little place. Yeah. Come and check it out just now. It is so cute. I won't go down there because that's where they live. All right. So. It's going to be a bit private. So these forts? Well, they're definitely forts. You can see where the... the shooting holes, shooting yeah. Shooting holes, yeah. Stand How up. incredible is this place? Okay, there was a church at the top there that we want to go and see. Yeah. Now. I mean, reverse? That's interesting. It looks like an old stormwater channel. With you can an see old right road going can over there. Can you see right through? I can't see through. Or is that like a... Oh, yeah. yeah, you can see right through yeah. there. Yeah, it must be an old road that goes over the top there. Cool. Or was there a rail line going through here? It's gone now. I'll have to go and ask. But the Thomas River Station is the other side of the road. Yes, that's what I thought. But if they've removed the station boards, it's probably not functional anymore. I'm going to sit on my porch this evening and watch Thomas River go by. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, the cemetery. Look at this little building. Oh. With an even smaller one.
is a beehive in there, so I'm not going in. But wow, look at this. There are some graves up here which I want to go and check out first. Loving memory of Ada Evelyn Hobbs. There's no dates on. In loving memory of Milton Oliver Hobbs. There's no dates on. This is in loving memory of Elizabeth M, beloved wife of James Hobbs, dies on 16th June 1916, aged 61 years and 7 months. In loving memory of Percy Louis Hobbs, beloved husband of Freda Hobbs of Killian. Born 22nd December 1893 and died 7th November 1918. Wow. 1981, this gate and fence was erected by Alf Wardle in memory of his parents Elizabeth and John Wardle, who built this church. In 1888. <gasps> it was built in 1888. Ranger Raymond B.T. Charles. The sunrise. 16 July 1957, sunset 10 April 2021, and that's where the bees go in. I am a tad allergic, so I will stay away.
Beloved memory of Donald Edward Field, born 2nd August 1886, died 13th May 1933. And yeah, is a lot of people buried, put stones here next to his gravestone in loving memory of Isabel May Fourie and Edward Charles Field and Donald Desmond Field and Timothy Charles Field so interesting In sweet remembrance of our dear little son, Raymond Edgar Sharrock, died June 3rd, 1912, aged one year and six months. Eesh. Yeah. How cute is this church? And it's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you say it's the Wardle. Yes. And I saw a Wardle farm as we drove in. So they must probably still farm in the area, yeah. Definitely. Okay. Just a little bit about how it got its name. Yeah. Thomas River, named in 1801, takes its name from an English deserter, Thomas Bentley. Part of Van der Kemp's missionary, Bentley was killed by a poison bushman arrow while crossing the river, thus duly named Thomas River. Wow! But I'm sure you'll find out the rest of the history on your walk. That's for sure. On your historical walk. Yeah, this is going to be so cool. What a stunning little place. We might as well come clean and say we forgot about Thomas River yeah. until we saw it earlier and then decided on to the come map. In here. Yes. And then I remembered we mentioning we have to come and check it out when we're in the area again. We don't know when we'll be back, so oh, we must yes. do it now. Oh, look at that car's wheel. You can see that's an old motor museum. Look at that. <laughs> now, this is going to be a bit of a ball of a time. <laughs> Private library, Thomas River Historical Village. Now, I don't know if you can remember when I was there by the church we saw as we entered the cemetery that the one son put that entrance to the cemetery for his father who built the church in 1888 now I just spoke to that son's grandson <laughs> Reed Wardle and he says his uncle used to come to this building it used to be a school back in the day It's so nice to speak to people who know the history of a place. Look at this. Get greeted with an exchange. the telephone oh I 
I think I say this every time I come into a library, I just love the smell of books. CBs. Switchboard. <laughs> Crazy. Cash register. So interesting. A rugby. This is a camper. This is a camper van. And it's, it's a vehicle is called a rugby. It's in the right country. No. The rugby. Rugby mobile home. Oh, man. A little fridge here. Look at that. It still works well, the door opens and closes perfectly. Oh, that's closed. That's the kitchen. Driver sits in the middle, could have someone this side of him and that side. <laughs> this is all locked. This is incredible. Mobile home. Package place underneath. I suppose you fold this out, you make yourself a bed. Crazy. This old wheelchair.
this is so cool. Nineteen thirty five Morris A Tour. How's the wiper mode? All the bottles. Oh. This looks familiar. Yep. Web belts, water bottle pouch, ammo pouches. Stall ducker. Most dope. Saddles. I love these wagons. Yeah. Milli grinder. Rock Art Museum.
I was interested is this pub that they were the bar counter that they have here it used to be the old post office's counter and they moved it over to here. John Harrison, Olympic gold, Like a serious bonfire over here. But they are so organized here. This place is so cool and they are preparing for that major cycle race. Thomas River mountain bike race. And uh, they say there's like 500 entrants. So that's huge. Thomas River Mountain Bike Challenge.
videos and DVDs and yeah, film collections, music collections. Yeah, VHS, <laughs> video machines, VCRs, camera equipment, yo, projectors, movie projectors, it's crazy. This is the old post office, Thomas River post office, and that's where they took the counter to the bar from here. gallon yeah. that's five liters Municipality King Williamstown. King Williamstown Fire Brigade. Yeah. Earlier when we went up to that church, we saw like a stormwater drainage channel going through underneath the road and I think this is where it comes in goes around goes through underneath yeah you can see this is where it goes through underneath made of that stone such a well-built structure look at that you can see the stone work there the artisans that did that knew what they were doing and it goes through underneath this road to that side where we went up to go and see the church interesting finding out that this exact place where i'm standing now with that cement curb going up there is where the old train line used to be the old train used to run here through thomas river to the thomas river station so that is the original thomas river station it was in 1941 that they moved the station to the opposite side of the N6. And this was all removed, all the, the tracks were removed here. But you can see this is the platform. It says there are people who live not too far from here whose forefathers used to come here on horseback 
to come and visit family members on the train. They used to get a telegram telling them when they'll be here at the Thomas River station and they would come here by horseback and visit them on the train until they leave for East London. Thomas River, 77 miles to East London, altitude 3,413 feet. And this is the original station building. beautiful is this? Hi there, hi there. Nineteen twenty six. Wild. Hello, hello. Yeah. Now, interesting that you'll see there's three forts here this one, that one, and that one. Forts or lookout points or whatever you want to call them. You can check. So just to check in all directions to be able to fire and this was when the station was still back in the day when there was the I call it the frontier war they put this these forts up here to protect the station This is the station foreman's house, but this is where we'll be sleeping tonight. So I'll be the station foreman today. Wow, look at this. Thank you. 
This is where they used to have the old coal stove. Yeah. The shower. And the bath. This is the station master's house. You can see it's a bit grander than the station foreman's house. Look at this. So nice, the murals. Yeah. How beautiful is this place? This is a must return place for me. Curtis is sorting out our accommodation. I thought that was so cool. A jet flew past the moon. We're sitting in the car and um, the lady comes walking up from the restaurant to us here with the menus and asks us what we'd like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so we've ordered the mutton shepherd's pie and the sweet tomato chicken curry and rice and she'll be bringing it to our room our little house just now oh that sounds awesome yeah and we have a meal this evening great stuff the station foreman will be back just now <laughs> <laughs> imagine that yeah a jet flew past the moon earlier yeah now it just looks like a cloud Are you in your element? I love this. Oh. little dog. It's a nice little farm shop. And how neat is it? Yeah. Drinks. Just the basic food stuffs you need, eh? Guns. Yeah. Logging truck. Yeah. You saw the Thomas River shop. Yes. <laughs> Cute. And the lady's just moved down from Johannesburg six months ago. Yes. And she's just started the shop here now. And it's so neat and clean and tidy. It's a your typical farm shop. It's got just what you need to buy. Essentials. Well, she obviously has 
customers. Yeah. I mean, in the two minutes that I sat there, two vehicles stopped. Yes, exactly. That's fantastic. Yeah. I wish her well. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Youngins. Hi. <laughs> oh, one drank water yes. from the running water next to the road. And there's a police station here in the middle of nowhere. What? Ooh. Oh, all right. Thomas River. How cool is that? Yeah. Police station out of town. Of course, the police vehicle had to come out right yes. now. We've met plenty of people who can come and help us out yes, here. Yes, definitely. If we get stuck. This looks interesting. Yeah. I'm just worried about the road, that's all. No, the road's fine. Oh. oh, this is so cool. This has been laid quite recently. No, it's not recent. Wow, the water is flowing here. Yes. I'm very worried about this road. No, the road's fine. As long as it's dry, we're fine. And these ditches? We'll make it. It's a bit of a trick if you have a problem <laughs> in the middle of the night. Yeah. Big setup too. Yes, it is. But I, <gasps> <laughs> I saw it already. I didn't want you to see it. <laughs> that must be the old rail bridge that goes over there. Wow. Let's focus on the police station. Yes. I saw more than you. Yeah. So they probably live here too. I'm sure they do. But it's locked now. They're off duty. What? You were lying about watering places. And no, this is what they used to fill up the, 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 the trains, the old steam trains. This used to be a water tank on here and they used to pump water into the the trains from this thing. The train used to come past it yeah and stop yeah and then get filled up with water. No way. Yes. So this is exactly where the train used to run, right along yeah? Yeah. And then it would stop yeah and fill up with water over here. Look at this incredible structure. Yeah. Look at the hammered stone. Yes. And that bridge is made of hammered stone as well. The columns, well, what's left of the bridge. Would would be the two columns, right? Yes, yes. So that's exactly where the train came over. That's amazing. And the arches. Now with the guys doing that um, mountain cycle race, they come and they stand here and this is, this is apparently a photo opportunity for them. This is so cool.
This is a cool photo op. Yeah. If I were a mountain biker, I would do it for the photo op. <laughs> At this incredible stone yes. structure. I hope they have great weather on Saturday. So do I, shucks. So yes. we're finally heading to our accommodation. Yes. Have you had fun? I've had fun today, seriously. So, um, I just heard that it's the only police station in the country that are in Rondavils. What? That is amazing. That is wild, eh? That is crazy. Chicken time. That's us. The three dust bugs are sitting on the stoop here in Thomas River, enjoying the view. My very own stoop in Thomas River. And we're having a sundowner. Life doesn't get much better than this. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> So this is supper. Our room service has just arrived. And uh, this is Sonny's shepherd's pie, mutton shepherd's pie. Yes. And this is my curry. Now, I did order chicken curry, but they didn't have chicken, so they brought the mutton curry, and I'm just as happy with about that. I don't mind the mutton curry. And this is my sambals. Uh, this is um, coconut, chutney, and? Tomato and onion relish. Relish, okay. And there's our salads. Uh, we are going to enjoy that mutton curry and that shepherd's pie. I'm going to steal some of Sonny's shepherd's pie, that's for sure. And eat and fill our tummies and then hit the sack and we'll see you in the morning. Five in the morning. Misty morning, we are leaving Thomas River. Yeah, oh, what a lovely evening we had, eh? Oh, it was just fantastic from beginning to end. And now the mist is just finishing it off for us. Yeah, your it? drone just didn't like the mist. It didn't, it went up for like 30 seconds and then it just came down on its own. <laughs> Too much and it moisture. Was struggling to land. Yeah. It was good being the station foreman's wife for one <laughs> evening. Um, I had a nice chat with the station master's wife last night. Oh, did you? Yes. And? No, she said that um, 
She was happy to have us as neighbours for the one evening. <laughs> um, we better leave Thomas River the way we found it. Yep, your imagination. <laughs> No, this was an awesome visit and they've done so well. This place is fantastic. Here's I agree. Cat. I would have thought there would be one. Yeah. I never saw one. Let's go and see if we can find the other station, Thomas River Station. Where they moved it to. Yes. But apparently there is almost nothing left, yeah. if anything. Now this is interesting that we found one of the farms where the Wardle brothers farm. And uh, these, this is the family that I saw at, that built the church and at the cemetery who did the entranceway there. And I met three of these brothers. It was quite interesting. That is cool, eh? Yeah. Oh, Boom in a mist. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Always stop too far from those little buttons. So we're going to go see if we can find the second Thomas River station. That gate's closed over there by the goods shed, I think. Yeah. Just hope it's not locked. just hooked in. So this is the second Thomas River station. any other buildings other than this one there's a platform is there a building through there looks like there is a building through there or is it just a gateway no there's just bushes over there now and there was something there you can see the stairs there's nothing over there now anymore so we've seen it. I would have loved for there to be station boards left at yes. least. Yes. So we have to assume that those in the village come from here. Or you think they are original original? I would like to think that they're original original. Okay, <laughs> and these were just removed somehow. Yeah. But you never know, maybe they did take them from you. Look at the... See? No, the spider webs. Oh, that are wet, yes. And the beautiful shape, look at that. The yeah, that one is gorgeous. It's the perfect spider web shape. I must see that. It's beautiful. Look at that, eh? Gorgeous, eh? Absolutely perfect. This is my first field of spider webs. Look at it. So many of them, eh? It's just because you can see them now because they got water on them from the mist. But that's incredible. Oh. So many of them, eh? Look at this one. Wow. Look across there. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful, actually. Shows you how many little spiders there are in the felt when you walk through the felt, eh? One doesn't always realize that. Yeah. Incredible! Intricate, eh? Very. You know, it looks like a train does run through here. Definitely does. 
Oh, these tracks work. So there's definitely trains that come through. Now, I think, like they said in Stutterheim, so this is the track, it must be the train runs from Johannesburg through to East London on this track. But there's no electric cable, so it must be diesel. Yeah, but it's definitely shiny, those tracks. Oh yes. Could you see the train still runs here? Yeah. I'm very happy to hear that. You can see it's shiny if you have a quick squeeze there. Yeah, I can. Cool sight. Yeah, very cool. Train tracks disappearing in the mist. You sound so uh, poetic. I yeah? am. <laughs> I'm thinking of a title for my next novel oh, la, la. inspired by the Thomas River area. <laughs> <laughs> this was stunning though. Okay, so this was absolutely fabulous. Yeah. I'll recommend a Thomas River stay over to anybody. The food was fantastic, the hosts were friendly, the place is amazing to see. And it's just a chill time. Yeah. A good, good visit. Yep. <laughs>